What is the wisdom behind the day of judgment? Why is there a need for the day of judgment? The wisdom behind the day of judgment is that every good individual is repaid for his good and every evil individual who disbelieved in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is held to account for his evil and his disbelief. If there was no accountability, all the zalim and all the oppressors could carry on with their zulm and there would be no accountability. Imagine people like Fir'aun who oppressed the Bani Israel. Imagine those who killed tens and thousands of people. Imagine people like Hitler. Imagine now in today's context, the people like Netanyahu, that they can kill people with impunity and they can oppress and they will be not taken into account. Imagine that wife, imagine that child, imagine that parent who is oppressed. Do you not think that the person who committed the oppression should be held to accountability? Sometimes you see zulm going on and you ask, why is Allah allowing the zulm to go on? Allah says, do not regard Allah as unaware of what the oppressors do. Allah is delaying them to a day, the day of judgment, where a person will look and his eyes will be fixated. The narrations mention that a person, a zalim, will look at the horror that is in front of him and he will stay for 40 years. For 40 years, he will not blink once. That is the horror that this individual will face. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Wasallam said, the first person who will be resurrected from his grave will be myself. I am the first to intercede and I am the first whose intercession will be accepted. And in another narration, the Messenger of Allah said, Ana al-hashir, yuhshar nas ala qadmi. I am the hashir. I will be the one who will be resurrected first and then everybody else will be resurrected after me.